Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be going through how I plan out my day as a software developer. By the end of this video, I hope it gives you a clear understanding and further insight as to what a typical day for a software developer is like. And if you are someone who is considering getting into the field, it will hopefully uh, direct you if it is something that is for you. Before we get any further though, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Also, shout out to some of these wonderful subscribers here. Thank you for your questions, comments, feedback. I see you and I just, mwah, I love our YouTube family. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get started. As a software developer, every day for me is a little bit different, I would say. However, there are some things that I do to really plan out my day the best way possible to ensure that I'm getting my work done, my coding tasks, but also to responding to emails and other kind of business related tasks that I might have to do throughout the day. One thing that for me, before I got into tech and coding and became a software developer, I had this misconception that software developers just sit at their computer nine to five or maybe even longer, probably longer, and just code continuously. Like that's all they do. They don't talk to anyone else or any other teammates and I, you know, I was really interested and passionate about coding, but I didn't know if that was something I wanted to do. But I quickly realized after talking to other developers that that is not the case. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video for you today, because um, I guess essentially to shatter any kind of uh, misconceptions or myths that might be out there and uh, walk you through my day. My day typically starts around 6.30 a.m. I know that's a little bit early for some of you, but I really like getting up early. And then what I will do in the morning before I even, right now I'm working from home, so it, it's kind of easy to wake up, roll out of bed and start working. But I found that was not very productive or helpful or healthy to me. I needed to have some space before I started working. So when I wake up at 6.30, I typically go for about an hour, hour and a half walk. Um, Paul and I, my boyfriend, we do, I think around like five or seven K uh, walking. So walking one way, getting coffee and then walking back. And it's a great way I find to kind of start my day on the right foot, not just open up my computer and start working. Although it's easy to do, I found that it was really making me feel burnt out and tired by just constantly working. Once I get back from my walk, it's around, I would say, I don't know, 8, 8.30 in the morning and I will make myself some coffee, have some downtime as far as just looking, opening up my emails. Um, most of the emails I start my day with are for tip and tech related, but I also open up my computer for IBM and look at some emails for IBM as well and see if there's anything pressing that I need to get back to. My day really starts around 9, 9.30. 9.30 is my first meeting that I have every single day, Monday to Friday. It's a 15 minute stand-up meeting. So what it entails is you're going around in your team and you're talking about what you did yesterday, what you are doing today, and if you have any blockers that are stopping you from getting your work done. This is a great way to not only understand what other teammates are working on, but also to just kind of have a touch base or feel like you're part of a team. When you're working remote, sometimes it can feel like you're just doing your own thing and having a daily stand-up meeting is a great way to just have an understanding of what everyone's working on and if there's anything that I can help out with. After my daily stand-up, it's about 15 minutes long, I dive right into my work. Typically, I would say the morning is not too many meetings. There's usually meetings more in the afternoon. Um, but so my morning when I don't have meetings, I kind of time block and say, okay, the next hour and a half, I am going to solely focus on this feature or defect. If it's a feature, it will require more feature meaning that it's a new piece of code I'm building out, something that doesn't exist yet, whereas a defect meaning more of a bug or something that is wrong with the code that will affect the application and essentially it being able to function or the user's experience. So if it's a feature, I take time to really have an understanding of the requirements, like what, what is required in this feature to build out. And then I will just start coding. I typically code, I would say in blocks of a solid hour to hour and a half. And then after that, I need to get up and just like breathe for a bit. But it's not though my day is full coding nine to five. I would say in the morning I code, uh, work on my features, 
Then by lunchtime, I take a break, go for a walk, have some, I don't know, lunch, whatever that may be. And then when I get back to my desk, I do have quite a bit of meetings between um, grooming, which is going through different features that are upcoming. So they're not things that we are working on at this moment, but they are things that I guess being groomed, being groomed meaning um, they're coming up, you know, this is a time for developers to ask questions to the business team about the requirements. For example, if there are things in the feature that are not very clear or maybe they are too big to be in one feature, um, we'll kind of break it down. So that way when we do pick up the features, we have a very clear understanding as to what we're working on, what we're focusing on and the direction of the product, which really helps. So. Grooming is typically for an hour, hour and a half, and on average, uh, for me right now, it's about once a week. So it's not a meeting that I have every day, but it is a weekly meeting. Other meetings that I have would be different meetings such as touching base with my manager, um, touching base with the design team. Um, what other meetings do I have? They come up often, I find. Um, touching base with different team members, maybe helping more junior team members on different tasks they're working on or if I have a question asking more senior team members about what I'm working on. And the day goes by really quickly between working on different tasks and the meetings and I find that it's a really nice balance between having time to do your own thing and code but also to having different meetings and interactions with others so it's not completely just isolated. However, I find sometimes you can get sucked into days where there are so many meetings that you can't have a full time block to properly code and I, for me anyways I need like at least a solid hour to you know get into that rhythm of coding and find that kind of workflow so also being cognizant of not having too many meetings in one day if possible because it can be a little bit um, of a deterrent for actually coding them. When I would say I wrap up around 5 p.m. every day um, and check my emails one last time to make sure there's nothing pressing that I missed. Also, I check my calendar for tomorrow or the next day to make sure I know what kind of is on my schedule and plan out my day that way. And honestly, after I'm done my tasks and it's 5 or 5.30 hits, I close my work computer, I close my office in my home and I just forget about work as much as I can. And this is something I really struggled with. I remember when I first started working, I for too long would just continue working 24 seven and then I would always get burnt out and just so exhausted. And I really worked on setting different boundaries now that you know, once 5 p.m. comes, even if I'm not completely done my task, there's always tomorrow, you know, as long as it's not super pressing. Um, and then the next day starts again. But I absolutely love the, as I mentioned, the balance between the meetings and the coding aspects of it. Um, and it's not always perfectly balanced. Some days are more coding, some days are more meetings, but I'm really excited. Hopefully soon I will be going back to office as well. And then I will do a new updated one of what does my day look like as a software developer, which will be a bit different being in office as well. Um, just you know between different like team activities team lunches things like that but i hope this gives you kind of a clear understanding as to what my day entails it's definitely not every day is the same or boring um you know consistent days i that's one of the things i really love about my job is that it's constantly changing and every day you're working on different problems Thank you all for watching my video. I hope this gave you a good understanding. Make sure to leave in the comments other videos you want to see. And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button for more tech and coding related videos. Thanks everyone.